Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about a little known nutrient called berberine. What is it, what does it do, and what kind of health benefits can we gain from taking berberine, okay? So if we look at the literature, berberine is actually a antiparasitic, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, and it wards off diabetes, right? So it's an alkaloid and it comes from barberry, golden seal, and golden thread. If you look at it, can we even take in enough berberine from these types of herbs, right? Probably not to make a, a physiological effect. So there are nutrients or nutrient companies that make supplements in concentrated forms of berberine or berberine HCL. So it does not affect lactobacilli or bifidobacter, uh, bifidobacter or bifidobacteria. What that means is that you can have antibacterial effects in the gut, yet it does not uh, detrimentally affect the good bacteria in your stomach. So it preserves the natural bacteria in your stomach while getting uh, rid of pathogens in your, in your GI tract. Berberine is also an anti-sugar. Uh, Right? So it helps with diabetes. So they did studies between berberine and metformin, or glucophage, um, which is a diabetic medication, right? And they did a study with like 36 people, and they split them up. They, were, they had diabetes. So half of them got uh, metformin, and the half got berberine. The average reduction for both groups went from 9.5 in the hemoglobin A1C, which is your three month average of blood sugar, from 9.5 to 7.5. What that means is that berberine in itself is just as effective as metformin, which is a medication, in terms of reducing blood sugar. The other positive benefits of berberine is that it reduces cholesterol and triglycerides. So if you can reduce triglycerides, it also will have an effect on fatty liver. So it's an important nutrient in many ways, right? Because it can help gut or your GI function, help diabetes, and can also lower cholesterol and triglycerides, reducing the risk of stroke and fatty liver, etc. So if we look at it, berberine also has a cardiovascular effect because it's a natural antioxidant and a natural anti-inflammatory, right? People don't realize this little nutrient can affect so many different pathways. If you reduce inflammation and improve antioxidants in our system, you're going to reduce the risk of cardiovascular incidents, right? Stroke, di um, um, heart attacks, etc. right? Another good thing about it is it affects parasites and, and, and bacterial infections in the, in the GI tract while preserving your gut flora, right? The good gut flora. However, it also improves leaky gut or intestinal permeability, right? What that means is that the gut lining that's damaged due to bonds being broken in the GI tract, it actually helps to improve that. It improves the tight junctions of the GI tract. And in other studies, they've done studies on cancer, and it actually helps to improve cancer outcome. So uh, you can go ahead and do the research on that. Uh, I won't get too much into cancer, but there have been studies done on this. So it's very important to understand what berberine is, what kind of effect it has, and you know, taking it can have a very broad spectrum um, antioxidant effect, uh, improving your overall health, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.